Yeah, great goals, Nigeria Professional Football League. Looking more interesting. Okay, Ben Alaya is in the studio, editor in chief of Sports Day. Uh, we still don't have Sports Day yet. <laughs> ben, good morning, good to have you here. Good morning, Cecilia. <laughs> How do you even defend yourself? In, in I don't know about Cecilia, yeah. she's always putting me on the spot. But <laughs> on the spot okay. I just want yeah, to have it. Chijoki was here and we had Sports in Life. And you know, we had Sports in Life, you true. You understand what I mean? No, I'll, uh, I'll deal with it. It's a new year, Ben. Thank you. I mean, it's yes. a new year. It's, it's, uh, From April, it, right? Uh, it's been tough, but you know, when you run an organization, I will ask Uncle John Momo how he runs this place. It's tough. He's a superman. 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 He's a I think it's, it's, it's good enough. I mean, it started, it's starting to show that, I mean, the victory of Ahmad Ahmad and uh, uh, Ahmad Jupinik is getting to show. I mean, it's, not, it's no longer a proposal. It's been approved by a, a, a body put together by FIFA. Yeah, so it's, 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 it, but it, it, the Congress will have to approve it. Right. Uh, I mean, if, if FIFA comes out to say so, I mean, obviously, it's, it's, a, it's, it's exciting. Done, yeah. it's, it's exciting. However, my take is that now that we have said uh, Africa is going to have nine sports, I hope we don't go and sleep and say okay. every year Nigeria will qualify, <laughs> so that we don't go back <laughs> so to, the, to those days when Galadima had to tell everybody, it's, Elijah Ibrahim Galadima, it's, it's, it's not anybody's best right. Okay. Argentina is on the verge of not qualifying ben, for the World Cup. Ben, so it's, it's, it's nobody's best right to uh, qualify correct. for the World Cup. You're correct. We'll come back to more uh, you know, uh, reactions uh, from that particular situation. Let's go on a break. Uh, when we return, we'll talk about the big match uh, in the Premier League, Liverpool versus Arsenal, as well as the Nigerian Professional Football League. Stay with us. Okay, welcome back. It's still Channel Sport this morning. Let's get on um, by talking about the Nigerian Professional Football League. And there's a massive game um, this weekend uh, between uh, former champions Aimba and okay, current champions, despite the fact that this season has been a very uh, you know, underwhelming one for Rangers International. We'll, we'll get more, we'll get Ben to react to that particular game, but let's go through uh, the other fixtures uh, for match day 17 of the Nigerian Professional Football League. Remo Stars will take on Katsina United, Aimba Rangers, Plateau United, uh, the team, you know, one of the teams to beat, second on the log at the moment, will take on Wicked Tourist. Uh, Gondo United versus Rivers United without coach Stanley Guma was in suspension. Uh, ben will react to that as well. Abia Warriors will play against ABS, that's Abu, Abu Bakr, Bukola Saraki um, Football Club. Nassara United will play NFN, NFN top of the log uh, right now and um, they have to travel the way to get, uh, um, let's see if they can get all three points in that one. El Kanemi Warriors back to the fortress against Kano Pillars. Uh, Aqua United will play Shooting Stars. Niger Tornadoes will host Lobby Stars while FC Ifiangiba will play against the Sunshine Stars. Ben Tony Wright uh, will start with the match between Aimba and Rangers International. Mm, yeah, it's, it's what we always call the Oriental Derby, mm. you know, when Aimba <laughs> uh, plays against uh, a team like Rangers International, uh, you know. Uh, holy, holy, holy! So it's it's going to be an interesting one. Uh, Imba has not been having it very good this season. Rangers too, they've not been doing too well, you know, as expected. And um, it was shocking that I mean, they drew uh, Remo Stars. At home at, 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 at the weekend, and 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 uh, knives have already been pulled out for something that may happen. But we, we are saying again that in, in, in reality, I think that Mama Amaka Kpabo, who, who won the league last season, mm. should not be treated the way that uh, Claudio Ranieri was treated <laughs> at Leicester City. Mm. And so I, I, I think that he can pull it through. But it's going to be tough. But I think that Rangers, they have it all to do. Mm. Uh, Enyimba is playing home and with the experience of the management and the technical crew, I think that uh, Ogunbote may just pull this one through. 
Okay. Yeah, I was just mm. hoping you were busy able to I don't do know. that one. Cecilia, Cecilia, I just quickly, let me just say, I mean, how, do, how long does this um, Ranger situation continue before the management, you know, uh, you know, get fed up and say, okay, that's it. We've had enough uh, time for a change in a, uh, in a coaching crew. Well, I, I don't know how long it's going to take, but for well, me... You don't even want them to let him, you don't want them to do the Ranieri thing to him. That's what no, you yeah, say. I don't want it. Regardless of the results. Yeah, regardless, yeah. That's what also, the results what might be poor, but again, like Christian Chuku said a few days ago, you're as good as your last uh, game. Last game. Uh, I think that Mama is not that bad. Yes... The, I listened to the Remo Stars coach after the 1 1 draw. He said there is a serious psychological problem with the Rangers team. For an opposing coach to say you that. Notice that. They, they notice to that. Notice that. They, they have psychological problem. Whether it is the coming of a man like Christian Chuku that is affecting them or it is the hangover of the, of, of the victory winning the after title 30, for the first time in 32 for, years. Yeah, in 42 years. We just have to give them benefit of the doubt. Okay. However, it's, all we are saying here is just on the line. Okay. They have, the on the line. Yeah, it's just on the line. The, the, the management and the state government has the final say. These are clubs run by state government, and they want results. If you don't get results, you get yeah, fired. You get fired. Okay. Well, just what's going to happen in that one. Now, another uh, yeah. coaches are also talking. Happens to be that of ABS and Gombe. Now, for Gombe to have gone to ABS and get a point from there, now they're going to be hosting another big team, hosting Rivers United. Mm. So in this Rivers United, I mean, no he, Stanley Guma, no, no Stanley Guma, and all that, they won't be here. But the team is traveling to Gobe, who went to ABS to get a point. So that means this might just be another loss for him. You know, we'll listen to these coaches now. You know, after this game that ended one-one in Illinois. Well, we don't like that. What happened in Jaws is not what I want to talk about. But I want to talk about what happened here. I see fatigue, mental fatigue about what happened in the in Jaws. That's that's the cumulative effect, you know. When we were afraid, what happened in Jaws? A lot of things that I want to talk about. But it's, it's football. You can lose, you can win, you can draw. So I accept today. I, I drew a very good team. So well, it's, it's not the end of the world. It, it could be zero two. What happens? So we still have one point. We have 20 games to go. So it's football. We've seen the Rangers that was champion, lost at home the first game. What happened? Anybody died? Real Madrid lost at home. They don't know football. We, we, we have not lost here. This is football. You win, you draw, you lose. It's the spirit of Olympic. That's it. I must say that I'm very grateful to God Almighty for giving us a draw at our win. We came here to try to get the three maximum points because we have drawn three matches at home. Uh, this is one of our worst games we have played at our way. The only problem is we have been creating a lot of chances and we are not taking the chances. And we intend to fortify our team for the second standard with very good attackers so that we can be finished off a lot of good builds up. But I must give God Almighty the glory for, uh, for making us to pick a point with 10 men against 11 right from the first half. The ABA, as I've seen during the Super 4, Played much, much better football than this, than this setup. But I must say that, you know, this midweek and weekend matches, fatigue is telling on some of our teams. And you cannot blame the players at times because for a player, look at us now, we took off from Gombe for about 15 hours to come to Ilorin here. But if not for the releases of our boys, we couldn't have got it, but I must say that Fatih has set into ABS too because they have been doing very well before this month. So the fans should not castigate them. Let them just motivate them in their next matches.